Good morning, everybody. We're waiting for some folks to get online here. We can do a quick Facebook Live, give you the latest update for what is now Tropical Storm Barry. Uh, continues to start to form a little bit out in the Gulf of Mexico, slowly forming out in the Gulf of Mexico, I should say. So we'll hopefully uh, get a little bit better idea of what Barry is going to do as we go through the next 24 hours or so. Uh, we've got quite a few people on here now. I want to show you some of the graphics. First of all, let's start off with the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. And you can see at the top of the page there, Barry has winds at 40 miles per hour as of 10 a.m. this morning, moving to the west at five, uh, pressures down to about 1,000 millibars. Here's the short-term track by Friday morning, 7 a.m. It has it, uh, as you can say, directly south of New Orleans, out in the Gulf of Mexico, and then by Saturday morning at 7 a.m., it has Barry right along the Louisiana coast, just to the it looks like just to the east of Vermilion Bay there as a Category 1 hurricane at 75 mile an hour winds. Uh, then it eventually starts to track it all into uh, Louisiana. Now this track, a little bit farther to the east than we've been seeing over the last day or so, and also this track a little bit quicker than we've been seeing over the last day or so. Uh, as of really yesterday, we were thinking maybe it wouldn't come in until late Saturday night, early Sunday, and now Hurricane Center has this making landfall Saturday morning at 7 a.m. So it's going to come very early on Saturday. Uh, here's the track as we go through Sunday and Monday. Once again, taking it up really uh, central or east side of Louisiana, which is great news for us. You notice that we are out of the cone uh, right now, so that's great news. Like I said, maybe a little bit more east and this update than we saw even in the last update. Sunday morning, it puts it into uh, northern parts of Louisiana and then Monday uh, already up into Arkansas. So it's going to move through quickly and that's great news. Uh, it's going to move through Louisiana. It's not going to stall out, not going to cause uh, a ton of rain for it looks like a lot of folks. They're still going to get maybe 5, 10, 15 inches of rain, maybe through Baton Rouge, uh, New Orleans, but it's going to continue to move. It won't be, we won't even say the word, but it won't be like that storm we had a couple of years ago. Uh, anyway, it's, we don't like to say Harvey Redder. Not be named. <laughs> I'm in here with a couple of other meteorologists that came in uh, from other parts of the country to help us out. It looks like they might be heading over towards uh, New Orleans to help them out over there because it looks like we're going to be on the, on the good side of the storm. We'll have to wait and see uh, as this thing kind of tracks towards the Gulf Coast over the next um, day or two. As we look out in the Gulf of Mexico, still a broad area of circulation, but the Hurricane Center says that there is enough there to call it Tropical Storm Barry with winds at 40 miles an hour. So uh, definitely a very broad area of circulation, but I guess there somewhere hidden in the clouds and the radar, there's a there's <coughs> Barry kind of lurking into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we'll continue to watch it right now, though, with the current track. We're going to be far enough east that I really don't think we're going to see too much in the way of effects from Barry. Uh, rainfall amounts, maybe one to three, four inches. Four inches might be pushing it. Uh, that four inch uh, category could be along the Sabine River if uh, we get maybe a couple of those bands from Barry kind of working their way over towards us. But for the most part, it looks like we're going to be far enough to the east that we probably pick up maybe one to two, one to three inches of rain with a couple of maybe stray bands on the uh, west side of the storm itself. Um, so I don't think we're going to see too much on Saturday. Our weather headlines, we'll see wind gusts possible about 30 to 35 with maybe a couple of those stray bands. Like I said, maybe an isolated thunderstorm there. Rain amounts, we'll go one to four inches. The heaviest stuff closer to the storm along the Sabine River, uh, that one inch amount would be more like uh, say Tyler County, Hardin County, places like that. And of course the storm surge is going to be low uh, because it's going to be well off towards our uh, east, so we'll be well away from the center of the storm and also we'll be getting a little bit more of a north wind than we would a south wind off the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, take a quick look at some of your uh, Facebook messages here. Uh, <coughs> is there any chance for Varian to move west? Yes, there's still chance for it to move west, but, but every hour that ticks away, chances are becoming less and less. Uh, right now, it looks like the consensus with some of the models and everything, it looks like it's probably a good track from the National Hurricane Center to take it through uh, the central coast there of Louisiana, southern Louisiana. Um, but still is a chance that it could wobble one way or the other. So it's something we're really closely monitoring as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. Uh, but right now, it looks like it's a pretty good track from the National Hurricane Center. Um, yeah, Texas will get a little wind, a little rain. That's about it. Um, 
everybody wants to know if it could change. Yes, it could change, but I don't expect big changes out of the forecast track as we go through the next uh, day or so. Once again, expected to make landfall Saturday morning uh, at 7 a.m. Matter of fact, let me put that back up that short-term track once more. You can look at that while I try to answer a few questions here. Uh, so that's a lot earlier than we were looking at yesterday. I'll quickly look through some of these. Any bad rain, like I said, maybe one, two, three inches of rain, which we generally can get on just a wet day here in southeast Texas. So it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. If it stays on that current track, which it looks like it probably will. Um, no, there will not be any storm surge at Crystal Beach. No, there will not be. Uh, some folks say they could use a little bit of rain cool us down a little bit. I mean, we've been in the 90s with that heat index around 105 to 110. So yes, maybe a little bit of rain won't be so bad. Uh, uh, Lake Charles on Sunday. Yeah, Lake Charles, I think you'll be fine on Sunday. If you notice, uh, the track takes it in northern to up to northern Louisiana by Sunday morning. Uh, if you're traveling to Lake Charles, I think you'll be fine. You might still deal with some showers on Sunday, but as far as anything, as far as strong winds or very heavy flooding range, I just don't see that. You're going to be still well on the uh, west side of the storm, so you won't have to deal with uh, the uh, hurricane-type winds or anything like that. I think Lake Charles will be fine if you're heading over there on Sunday. Saturday, uh, you could probably still make it over there, but it'd probably be best if you could wait till Sunday to, to wait for Sunday to head over that direction. Let me check a more, couple more things here. Cat 1 hurricane isn't that bad. Well, anytime you have a hurricane, it's bad, no matter what category it is. Uh, even a tropical storm could be bad, depending on how quick it moves and uh, just kind of how long it sticks around. So, yes, it's not a good scenario for southern Louisiana. We don't wish to storm on anybody. Uh, we're glad it's not coming here. But, yeah, places like Baton Rouge, Lafayette, uh, New Orleans, they're going to be seeing maybe 10, 15 inches of rain in some spots. They're going to be seeing wind gusts 60, 70 miles per hour as it comes in. So, yes, uh, eastern parts of Louisiana or southeastern parts of Louisiana are going to get hit pretty hard by this hurricane. Bye. <laughs> Hi. I'm Lauren. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Any more things? Any more questions? How's Friday looking for Lake Charles? I think Lake Charles on Friday will be fine too. I think um, the storm still, as you can see, is going to be out in the Gulf of Mexico. So if you're heading over to on Friday to Lake Charles and then coming right back, I think you'll be fine. Uh, it's really going to be Saturday that they're going to get a little bit more in the way of rain and a little bit more in the way of wind. But uh, just want to update everybody. It is now Tropical Storm Barry. Um, the track is still about the same as we saw this morning. It's still shoved off towards the east. Still looks like it's going to be moving through uh, the coastline of Louisiana and not affecting here in southeast Texas. So I just want to give you a real quick Facebook Live and let you know uh, what's going on here in southeast Texas as far as the storm this weekend. Be prepared for some showers both Saturday and Sunday. Also be prepared for some breezy conditions. We could see wind gusts once again, uh, say 25 to 35 miles per hour. So a little breezy, a little wet, but it shouldn't be anything like they're going to be seeing over in sections of Louisiana. Anyway, I appreciate folks watching. I appreciate you uh, watching our Facebook Live. We're going to be doing uh, the noon show on KJAC coming up here in just a little bit. Appreciate you tuning into that. And we were going to go sign off real quick here. And um, I'm sure Patrick will be back on here later on this afternoon doing another uh, Facebook Live and letting you know what's going on as far as the latest on what is now Tropical Storm Barrett. You all take care. Have a great afternoon.